In many applications, we would like to write a function as a sum of sines and or cosines. Think for examples of vibrations in a string. The keynote, the lowest mode, will be like sine x, and overtones will be then higher modes like sine 2x, sine 3x, and so on. In general, this boils down to writing a function as a linear combination of sines and cosines, or put differently, to decompose f of x into its modes. If we can write f of x as such a linear combination, then this linear combination is called the Fourier series of f. In this video we will make this a bit more precise what we mean, so let us get started. So let us take a look into the idea. So here we have the graph of f of x equals sine pi x, and you see it repeats itself after a length of 2. So this uh, function has a, a period of 2 and is periodic afterwards. If we now have g of x equals sine 2 pi x, this is also periodic, but this one goes twice as fast, so more like this, and like, like, like that. So there we have our g, also periodic, twice as fast, so its period is then uh, t equals 1. Now if we take any combination of these, of f and g, we have a combination of a function with period 2 and a peri function with period 1, well the function with period uh, 1 will also be periodic, well, after uh, t equals 2, then it just has gone twice as fast, but it's also the same again if you go too further, so the linear combination of them will also be periodic with a period of t equals 2. So that's the essential idea. If you start to take linear combinations of suitable periodic functions, then their combination also is again periodic. So if you have, for example, the sine pi x over L, so instead of sine pi x, we now take sine pi x over L, this function is periodic with t equals 2 L. So if you are 2 L further, you are again where you started. So if you take a linear combination of sine is pi x over l and sine 2 pi x over l and sine 3 pi x over l and so on and so forth, you will again have a periodic function with period t equals 2 l. Now, you can also add some cosines in the mix, and you can add constants of course, constants are everywhere the same, so in particular they are periodic, so you can also add cosines. If you have cosine n pi x over l, that one is also the same if you go 2l further. Uh, so this part is also periodic with period 2l, this part as well. So your total function, your total combination is some periodic function with period 2l. Okay, very, very well. Now we do it the other way around. So given sines and cosines and making linear combinations, making new function, our function is periodic. But now we start with a periodic function f of x. So given some periodic function f of x with periods 2l, and then we wonder, can we write f as a combination of sines and cosines like this? Well, if we can do that, we will learn later when we can do that, but if we can do this, then the series on the right hand side is called the Fourier series of f of x. <laughs> 